After selling my film camera collection, including my Pentax 672 and the legendary Leica M6, I was on the hunt for a medium format camera that was simple, still robust, and fun to shoot. Luckily, one of my friends let me borrow his Mamiya C330 for a couple weeks to try it out, and in my surprise, I slowly fell in love with its minimal functions and twin lens reflex system. Over the past two months, I've gotten to experience this traditional twin lens reflex camera introduced from the 1970s from Mamiya, testing its unique workflow, simple design, and much more. With my last main medium format camera being the Pentax 672 and shooting with that for a few years, including a personal project for me, documenting my hometown of Oshkosh, Wisconsin, I want another camera that carried the same weight. Well, not literally, but the sharpness and ease of use. More budget-friendly 120mm shooter sounded like it would be in my wheelhouse. I thought the 6x6 format would be a unique shift and challenge for me, needing to frame unique images inside a totally symmetrical viewfinder, which certainly can be tough, but ultimately the question is, is it something you should consider for yourself, and am I planning to continue to use it as my main camera? The first thing I had noticed was how challenging it was for me to make square compositions. I tend to gravitate towards symmetry as a personal style for myself and thought that that would translate. However, I found a lot of my compositions to be lackluster or boring in nature. There was many situations where I had wished that I had the trusty 6x7 by my side to balance out the compositions, use rule of thirds and other methods, and that could be due to conditioning and comfort, but nonetheless, I found that to be a challenge. Another thing that was relatively new to me was looking down through the waist level viewfinder with the inverted image but wasn't much of a problem and I actually enjoy getting used to it. Having the ability to look up and get an idea of what you're looking at and getting right back into the composition was a cool process and something new to me. Even more enjoyable in some cases opposed to the SLR style than I'm used to. I haven't taken any portraits with the camera but having the ability to connect without a camera in front of your face is probably a huge plus to get raw motion from people for great portrait work. And those of you using these images solely for social media or web, it's already in a workable square format, which is nice. Given this short time with the Mamiya C330, would I recommend it? Well, if you like the idea of a square format, yeah, it's very compact and lightweight and truly has those hipster points with its sleek TLR design, if that matters to you at all. When it comes to making prints, I'm personally not the biggest fan of the 6x6 ratio. The compositions I created felt like I was trying to balance things symmetrically too much and I compared my compositions back to what it would look like with a 6x7 in my hand. Ultimately, I realized the camera isn't for me and that's okay. That isn't any fault of the camera and I was actually thoroughly impressed with the majority of it, including the workflow. It's a great challenge with shooting square and a fun camera to work with but not when I'm willing to make my only camera, especially using the Pentax 67 for so many years. Could I have changed my mind given more time with it? 100%. However, I'm planning on traveling soon and I need something that I feel like is more comfortable to use, more familiar to me, and for now, this didn't pass the test. Overall, the C330 is a great, budget-minded, unique TLR with high reliability and a sleek design that could be used for any type of photography. I recommend that you give it a shot, and if it comes your way, even if you've never used a TLR or a waist level viewfinder, it's a unique experience that is worth trying.